In the early 1960s, President John F. Kennedy signed a bill that was the driving force for forestry research at state-supported colleges and universities. Representative Clifford McIntyre of Maine and Senator John Stennis of Mississippi worked together to guarantee the long-term sustainability of forest and wildlife across America, provide funding for graduate training for forestry and wildlife research, and ensure that state universities and colleges would work with researchers in the USDA Forest Service and other partners. We can see the evidence all around us. At Northern Arizona University, the McIntyre Stennis program has had a tremendous impact on student success and critical forest research. The act was passed just four years after the NAU School of Forestry was created. Virtually all of our McIntyre Stennis funds are used to support graduate students who in turn conduct research projects on forest ecology, forest restoration, wildlife, water resources, all of that under the guidance of our faculty. One graduate student and I worked together on a project to understand the basis of fire ecology research in the West. Much of our understanding of fire ecology comes from studies of fire scarred trees, trees that are damaged by fires over multiple years and which we can then determine when all these fires occurred and put together a picture of the fire regime. There have been concerns about problems with those methods, that by sampling certain trees we might be getting the wrong answers. We took a large area, a square kilometer, thousand by a thousand meters, and collected every single sample in that area. It was over a thousand samples. We were able to prepare and cross-state and determine the fire occurrence on 650 of them. What we found is that when we had the true answer, a complete census of every single fire-scarred piece of material out there, we got the same answer as the traditional methods of targeted sampling that were used before. So this very important fire ecology information that's been collected over many years and forms the centerpiece of forest policies in the West was shown to be based on solid methods from a study supported with McIntyre Stennis funds. I received my first McIntyre Stennis grant uh, 19 years ago. And that grant uh, was uh, for a project called uh, ecophysiological responses of old trees to restoration treatments. And the treatments we were most interested in were thinning small trees from around the old trees and also prescribed burning. And from that work, forest managers throughout the western United States have been able to design uh, forest management treatments of appropriate thinning and prescribed burning that help conserve and protect ancient trees on the landscape. And this was particularly important in the context of climate change. With warming, uh, droughts have become more frequent and severe, and we were able to show that this forest management thinning is something that increases water supply to the old trees during these climate change induced droughts, and that will help preserve their presence on the landscape in the future. The McIntyre Stennis funds have allowed me to come here and study um, how drought and recent climate events are affecting recent aspen mortality in northern Arizona. It's also allowed me to look at historical fire regimes on the north rim of Grand Canyon outside of the park. And also the last piece of my research that it's allowed me to focus on is how climatic changes might affect forest communities and fire regimes here on the San Francisco peaks. The McIntyre Stennis funds are very important to us in the School of Forestry. They allow students to go to graduate school who otherwise would not have an opportunity. And the research that is supported by McIntyre Stennis is relevant for the whole Southwest and for the United States as a whole. The NAU School of Forestry is one of the premier sources of forestry related information here in the Southwest. And much of that information over the years has been generated through McIntyre Stennis funded projects. Each year, between nine and 12 graduate students at the NAU School of Forestry have been supported since the McIntyre Stennis program began. Besides important contributions to forest research, the program has cultivated more than 100 trained professionals who are today's scientists, professors, and forest managers. The McIntyre Stennis Cooperative Forestry Research Program gave us the plan and the framework to protect and inspire the forestry research programs and continually grow forestry and wildlife educational opportunity. So thanks to the people of Vision who have been the driving force behind our healthy, hardy forest.
and happy 50th anniversary to the McIntyre Stennis program.